What's up? How you doing, everybody? I am in my second home. Um, you guess it. I am sitting in my car in front of this insane gorge right now with this freaking bridge and everything. Oh my gosh, we are gonna do some droning. So I'm gonna sling some 120p this time and actually do it and remember to do it. And it is gonna be so dope. Excellent, there's a guy. gonna lie kind of scary not not gonna lie right now okay I am running down to a bridge down there I think you probably saw it in the drone shots because there are definitely some more shots to be had I believe oh my god. First of all, mom, stop watching here. Because I made a little bit of an oopsie. Alright, let's hop into the juicy details. Basically, I went down to the bridge, right? And it was like super great and you have the nice waterfall below it and the city out that way of it. <laughs> so you get down there and like this like kind of bridge thing and it's like pretty, you know, it's like really narrow. It's astoundingly narrow. There's like a, there's room for the gorge on one side, probably about two people, and then an automobile coming right next to you. So there I am deciding to fly my drone. Start it up, whatever, okay? And it's like, oh, compass error, because there's power lines above. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that. And the bridge is pure metal, metal underneath and everything so naturally there was a compass error so i'm like okay wise guy i'll just recalibrate the compass so i do that <laughs> it's strictly ignoring the do not calibrate near large metal objects warning sign and calibrate the compass and it says okay ready to fly gps and i'm like well if it was that bad dj i would tell me right wrong we start the takeoff sequence right and that's very cool. I actually wait till there's no cars coming, even though there's cars almost constantly coming. And I put my drone in the middle of the road so that it doesn't crash into the wall, which clearly I was worried about it crashing into the wall. Turns out, probably for good reason. So yeah, I take the drone off, I put it up, and probably like 10 feet into the air or something, maybe 15, it starts spiraling and running away from me and I'm not touching the controls at all, thank God it didn't go straight into the power lines and fall into the safety net. Luckily, there are nets underneath this bridge, so if it fell, it would probably be a big deal because I don't know how I'd get it out or anything. Like, how do you explain that to someone? So I just kind of twist it and spiral it out into like over nothing where it seemingly is clear and calm. And basically, it starts to be normal. And I'm like, okay, I think I can do this. I fly back over the bridge, back to me, <laughs> Oh, kind of over a car, cars and people looking at me strangely, and I fly back to me, and I start to do, you know, some maneuvers and stuff, and then it comes up, like, red on the top, and it, it says, compass error, like, large something, I don't know, it's some compass error, and I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna die. So, the problem is, there's cars that keep on coming, and I can't safely bring it over to me or land it with these cars, because they're right next to the side, and there's people coming. So... I just fly it and I keep flying it out so that it, if it crashes, it's not towards me. And eventually I just swoop it back in as fast as I can and just set it down on this like two foot wide piece of sidewalk right next to the road and cars. And my, I was shaking, my heart was beating. Like I'm so lucky to still have my literally brand new drone. Like you have no idea how lucky I am to not have crashed it like DJI honestly I feel like you did a good job on this one this is all user error I swear to god as long as I live I will never calibrate my compass on or next to a bridge again or do something that risky so bottom line 
I hope the shots look sweet. 